I wanted to talk to you guys about rotator cuff tears and the use of ultrasound to uh, image these problems. Normal anatomy here, there's four main rotator cuff muscles, the teres minor, subscapularis, infraspinatus, and the supraspinatus, which is here highlighted, uh, which is really the main, the main rotator cuff muscle that's involved in problems. When we see the different grading of rotator cuff tears, we have articular sided, bursal sided, infra, I'm sorry, uh, intrasubstance and full thickness rotator cuff tears. Um, let's uh, see here what a normal one would look like. Nice fibular padding. You could actually see the tendon attaching all the way down to the bone. Let's look at another normal to get oriented. Supraspinatus, nice fibular padding with no irregularity. Let's look at another one here. And uh, here I wanted to label just to make sure we're looking at the same thing and we are oriented. Now let's see what... Uh, what happens when we start having problems? In articular sided tear, we could actually clearly see here the, the problem where the, the tendon is torn. Let's look at an intrasubstance tear where the problem is inside of the, the actual tendon. What about a bursal sided tear where the actual problem or torn tissue is on the top? What about a higher grade or a more problematic full thickness rotator cuff tear? We could clearly see here how the tendon is detached and slightly retracted. Let's look at another image of that. And uh, the last one, clearly we could see the disruption of normal architecture of the fibular pattern of the tendon.